Hello there, YouTubers. Yes, I'm back again. How you all doing? I'm okay. Yeah, I think so anyway, as it goes. Never much has happened, never does. Every day goes on and on, goes into one, you know. Anyway, I was talking about impressions now. When it comes to my impressions, they're not very good. I mean, they're okay. Yeah, we're okay, well. But so absolutely rubbish, I must admit. Um, I just remember what I can do and what people know. Um, before I think now, only fools and horses is a bit, you know, wishy washy when it comes to them. And Uncle Albert is during the war. Oh, Joe, he drew in the war, single bullshit. But, yeah. Uh, let me think. Let me wonder. Let me. Oh, yes. Impressions. No, there was a. Before I do any impressions, I probably had what to do. Let me, um. Tell you about a TV series back in the 80s. Now, I don't know if you all know this, there was a TV show called Tales from Fat Tulips Garden. I think it was Central Television who used to do that. And her host, who should tell the stories, was Tony Robinson. who played Baldrick in Blackadder and also went on to do Time Team, I bet who is now Sir Tony Robinson. Anyway, he used to do the show called Tales from Fat Tulips Garden. I played this guy called Fat Tulip. He lived on his own in a house. And he had a friend called Fred the Baddy. Right, Fred the Baddy, if I remember rightly, escaped from prison. Like, I can't remember, it was so long ago. And um, many years ago, when I was very young, I um, sent Tony a story I wrote, wrote, written. And it was called um, Tin Day. And um, I, got, I used to point to Tony a lot. So lots of times when I was younger, about 15, 16, I used to get replies back. Because back in those days, I used to, to collect so photographs of famous people. And um, I used to write with, to Tony very often when he wrote back to me. Anyway, I sent a story. I you, you enjoy it. Anyway, it was such a long time ago. I wish I still had a copy of it, but I haven't. But if I can remember off by heart, I'll just quickly go through it. And then the Susie Ann movements. Anyway, I think it was called the Tin Day like I said, and um, I think it went like this. Fat Tulip woke up one morning, feeling very awake. Oh, what shall I do today? Mm. Now then, i got to do some shopping. Mm, yeah, got to do some shopping. Um, my lunch. What can I do? I know. I'll go and buy some baked beans. I like baked beans. Baked beans are good. A bit windy, but they're good. So, uh, he, um, he gets his clothes on, goes and have a wash, and there was a knock at the door. Hello, fat chillip! Oh no, says Fat Tulip. It's Fred the Baddy. Oh, I don't want him here. Oh, he had taught me for ages and I've got all the bank stuff and I need to do this shopping. Anyway, what 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 Fat Tulip realised? That there was some roller skates on top of the stairs. Why he forgot he put them there, I don't know. Anyway, Fred the Baddy kept knocking on the door and Fat Tulip would not answer it and, and of course Fat Tulip forgot to blimmin' lock it. So, what Fat Tulip done was shout down the stairs, Go away, Fred the Baddy! I don't want you here today. I want to go shopping. And then Fred the Baddy opens the door because Fat Tulip forgot to lock it. And Fat Tulip was such in a rush, she rushed down the stairs and tripped over the Tripped over the uh, roller skates, and one of the roller skates, his foot was stuck to it, and he was going flying through the front door, all the way down the hill. 
and then it was with the body chasing after him, going, I'll save you, fuck you, Nick, I'll save you. And he was going faster and faster and faster. And right at the bottom of the hill is the supermarket, with the doors going, whoosh, 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 opening and closing, with people going in and out, all the back of the doors. Anyway, that chair was going straight down on his road, going, Aah! going past these cars and buses, swerved here and there. And yeah, one was escaping from where he said, whoa, and the doors were open, and right in the middle, he could see these tins of baked beans, piled in a kind of pyramid shape. As the door opened and closed, he went through it. And what happened? He came out straight into these baked beans, and they went everywhere. Everywhere. The manager comes over and goes, is that you, fat Julian? What are you up to now? The fat Julian turns around to him and says, I think it's my tin day. Absolutely covered in absolutely these tins of baked beans. Then Fred the Barbie comes in and goes, Ah, hello, fat Julian. I see you all the way over there. And the manager goes, ah, I wouldn't have guessed it, but if it isn't Trevor the Bunny, I thought you would have something to do with this. Ah, not me. He's the one who wants to break beans for his t tea or dinner tonight. That was it was lunch, says Fat Julep. Fred the Bunny helps Fat Julep up. Excuse me, you two. I'll give him a pay for these, ah. Uh, Baked bean tins you just broke. I'll have a couple, says Fred the Fat Tulip. I'll have a couple. You'll have more than a couple, said the manager. You've done it on my tins, I expect me to sell all these now. Well, said Fred the Bunny, you can always have a special offer. <laughs> we could do that. Well, I won't make any money. If you don't pay up, I'll have to call the police. Quick, Fat Tulip, let's get out of here. Yeah, all right. And they run out the door and ran up the road, hinted the Fat Tulip's eyes and they locked the door. Well, I said, that bit of bother you got me into, Fred the Body. Ah, what friends are for, Fat Jim? What friends are for?